Hello. A while ago, I made a fluid simulation in Python, which created water out of a few lines of code. Problem is, Python is quite limited, and the only cool visualization I had was these colored waves. That's why I wanted to use better tools like Unity. Only problem is, I don't know how to code in C-sharp, and my understanding of fluid physics is lacking, to say the least. So come with me on my tortured journey of making water in Unity. So first things first, how does one simulate a liquid? Everything I say here has been straight pumped out from this old blog on the Wayback Machine, so big thanks to Brandon Pelfrey. To simulate a liquid, we can use a method called SPH, for Smooth Particle Hydrodynamics. Basically, it's considering that a liquid is made of hundreds of particles that interact with each other. We can then use physics equations to find each particle's next position in the scene. The question is, which physics equations? The Navier-Stokes equations. Okay, okay, so bear with me here because this is a topic I barely understand, so let's use pain to try to figure this out. So basically, fluid physics are based on the Navier-Stokes equations, which allow us to get the acceleration of the particles according to pressure, speed, and the external forces. Mu A is density times acceleration which is what we need to calculate because if we have acceleration, we can derive speed and then derive the particle's next positions. F is external forces like gravity, quite straightforward. Minus grad P is the gradient of pressure. Gradient is the elegant way of saying difference. Basically, this force is the pressure force. If there are a lot of particles bunched up together, and others around that are spaced out, there will be huge pressure here and low pressure there. The difference of pressure creates the pressure force. Et al Laplace V is a viscosity term. To put it simply, when particles are close to each other, they tend to stick to each other, so we apply a term to adjust the speeds of particles that are close together. Anyways, this isn't even important, because since I'm an engineer and not a physicist, I'm going to approximate every single one of these terms beyond recognition. So now, implementation. For starters, we need a simple scene with circles representing particles. I made a simple physics engine, where I just need to calculate forces applied to the particles, and the physics engine will calculate the next positions. First, we'll apply the gravity force to the particles, and now they just fall infinitely. Next up we'll need walls, so walls are a bit more complicated because we're not sure how a particle is supposed to react when colliding with a wall. Here what I did is an imperfect bounce, where we invert and dampen the normal velocity and we keep the tangent velocity. We then create a pressure force, so if particles are close to each other, we apply a repulsion force between them according to the distance between them and how many particles are around them. We then apply the viscosity force, so if particles are close to each other, we'll slow down the particle that's going faster than the other and we'll speed up the particle that's going slower. I then shamelessly stole this shader from this video from CodeMonkey. And finally, after a lot of tweaking, here are the results. So that's it. Alright, so there's a lot more that can be done. Uh, firstly, in terms of optimization, here I have only 500 particles for 30 FPS real time. Right now, to calculate pressure and viscosity, I use a double for loop, which costs me n squared complexity. I should use a grid to only look for neighbor particles that are close to the current particle. Also, my code could probably win an award for most code malpractices per line of code, but whatever. I'll just put it on GitHub if someone wants to take a look. Okay, bye.